the environmental impact of iron ore mining, in all its phases of, from excavation to beneficiation to transportation, may include detrimental effects on air quality, water quality, and biological species. Topic. Introduction Topic. Iron ore Iron ore is rock containing enough iron content, and in sufficient volume and accessibility to mining and transportation to be able to be economically mined. Iron in ore iron is most commonly found in the form of magnetite, hematite iron 3 oxide, gothite FeOO, limonite FeOO NH2O or sidrite iron 2 carbonate. Roughly 98% of iron ore on the global market is used in iron and steel production. Topic. Mining and processing Common methods of extracting the iron ore consist of blasting, drilling, or general excavating. Most iron ore is produced from open pit mines. After the iron ore is out of the ground, it may be shipped to the iron and steel manufacturing plant. If the ore contains less than 60% iron, it is usually beneficiated to an iron ore concentrate typically containing greater than 60% iron. This is done by separating the iron minerals from the valueless minerals, usually by magnetic, gravity, or froth flotation. Topic. Issues. Topic. Air quality The main sources of emissions during both the construction and operation phases include the products of combustion such as nitrous oxide, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and sulfur dioxide and fugitive dust from the operation of equipment. The main sources of combustion-related emissions during both the construction and operation phases are related to diesel generators, fuel oil boilers, and from on-site road traffic. Fugitive dust emissions can occur during land clearing, ground excavation, and from equipment traffic on site. Potential sources of fugitive dust during operation include ore loading and unloading, ore crushing, stockpile erosion, and dust from conveyor systems around the site. Fugitive dust emissions are proportional to the disturbed land area and the level of activity and vary substantially from day to day with varying meteorological conditions. The major effects of industrial air pollution on wildlife include direct mortality, debilitating industrial-related injury and disease, and physiological and psychological stress. <laughs> Acid rock drainage Acid is created when water and oxygen interact with sulfur-bearing minerals and chemicals in rocks. Sulfuric acid is the most common chemical reaction that results from mining activities as the beneficiation process requires dissolving the minerals surrounding the ore, which releases metals and chemicals previously bound up in the rock into nearby streams, freshwater bodies, and the atmosphere. Acid may be generated under natural conditions prior to any disturbance, but mining activities typically magnify the amount of acid produced, thereby causing an inequality in the surrounding environment. This process is referred to as acid mine drainage AMD. 
Acid produced from AMD causes health hazards to many fish and aquatic organisms as well as land animals who drink from contaminated water sources. Many metals become mobile as water becomes more acidic and at high concentrations these metals become toxic to most life forms. Topic: Wetlands and flora. Some mines require the draining of nearby wetlands for the beneficiation process and the cooling of project machinery, which affects downstream water quality and water quantity, and flora and fauna. Wetlands include bogs, fens, marsh, swamps, and shallow water. Wetlands serve a number of functional purposes in the biosphere such as collecting and storing surface runoff, moderating stream flows, reducing natural flooding and erosion, cleaning and purifying water, recharging groundwater zones, and providing habitats for plants and animals. Wetlands are being altered from their natural state to support alternative land uses such as agriculture, urbanization, industrial development, and recreation. <laughs> Megafauna Some animals are more susceptible to change and degradation than others. Iron ore mines are projects with activities branching off into most aspects of ecology. Megafauna includes large mammals such as black bears, caribou, and wolves. This type of wildlife shows notable behavioral changes and are sensitive to noise levels caused by iron ore mining and infrastructure projects shortly before and immediately after young are born and during the rutting season. These disturbance types increase the distances moved by the animals and may effectively decrease reproductive success, and starvation. Topic. Environmental assessment Infrastructure projects must be filed for submission, revision, and assessment under federal or regional legislation to ensure projects are carried out in a sustainable manner if it is thought to have a significant impact on the natural, social, or economic environment. Depending on the size, scope, and scale of particular projects, they can be assessed on a national or regional level. In most countries, larger plans are assessed under federal legislation such as CEAA 2012 and smaller projects are reviewed more locally, such as the, NL Environmental Protection Act 2010. The purpose of environmental assessment is to protect the environment and quality of life of the people of the province by facilitating the wise management of the natural resources of the province. The environmental assessment process ensures that projects proceed in an environmentally acceptable manner. The size and scope iron ore projects makes it subject to environmental assessment in all levels of administrative legislation. <laughs> 